Hello Minecrafters, Arctic Shark Games here coming at you with another Minecraft Bedrock Edition tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be on NPC vendors using a clone chest to sell you a unique item. So NPC clone chests. If you're not familiar with this system or if none of this looks familiar to you whatsoever, what you're going to want to do is head on over to my previous video NPC vendor tutorial and that'll explain a lot about this process in case we miss anything in this video this is sort of an add-on to that video if you were to sell a unique item so if you're selling any normal item in the game such as cooked beef something that actually has an item ID tag you're going to want to do it in according to the video that I first put out there NPC vendor video but if you're going to try to sell something unique such as I'm going to sell a shulker box full of items or you could be selling a named item such as the overworld or nether books or something like that from one of my previous videos then this is what you're going to want to do here so real quick first off we're going to hop into survival mode and we're going to demonstrate exactly how this npc vendor works from the player's end so as you can see this guy sells beef as a normal item but he also sells shulker boxes as a special item so if i purchase a shulker box it will remove 1000 coins as you can see i have uh, 1175 so now it's removed some of my coins and now the shulker box is over here in the chest and now it has some items inside of it. So in order to sell somebody something with specialty items like that you need to do it in something like this like a clone or rather than the regular give command. So to break this down real quick, what we have going on here on the NPC side is in advanced settings. I am using a command to set block a redstone block in a certain location. And then it's on button mode with a you know little icon there that shows shulkers with a price. So the set block, what it does is it places a redstone block right there in that exact spot that my cursor is on. And that redstone block simultaneously for one tick powers all three of these uh, little command blocks here. So this one command block, all it does is it four slash set blocks um, tilde 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 with one to the left on the Z coordinate and that is going to put air there and immediately remove the redstone. So this whole system only happens once. And then this three pack here is going to test to see if you have enough money and if you don't have enough money it's going to then go ahead and play a sound for you and it's going to give you a message telling you you don't have enough money so that's forward slash scoreboard players test at player with the coordinates of where that NPC is in a radius of three coin zero to ninety nine so that's testing for anything under a thousand then I have the fail sound which is forward slash play sound I chose the gas charge sound mob dot gas dot charge at P again with the coordinates that NPC is located at with a radius of three and then one more time here we're gonna tell the player at those same coordinates the NPC is located at within a radius of three that they don't have enough coins and then if you did have enough coins what we're gonna do is the same thing we're gonna test to make sure that you actually had the thousand scoreboard players test at player with those coordinates the NPC is located at radius of three coins is a thousand then we're going to remove the coins which I could actually see when I demonstrated the video I had forgotten to change it to a thousand so I was undercharged but forward slash scoreboard players remove at P with the same coordinates, radius of three, coins removing a thousand. Then here's where things change from the previous video in this clone command block. So you're gonna do forward slash clone and you're going to do two sets of target coordinates. Those two first two sets of coordinates are exactly the same. What those first two sets of coordinates are is they are my chest that's also located in a taking area here that has the shulker. So we're cloning that as our target with the first two sets of coordinates and then the third set of coordinates located in this command are the destination coordinates where this chest right here goes and so that's where the actual item is going to go so after you do your clone command you're going to give them a successful message so you're going to forward slash tell at a player within a radius of three of those coordinates and then i wrote shulker boxes in the chest and then you're going to do a good sound so I went forward slash play sound random level up at P 
those same coordinates within a radius of three. So basically what it's doing is, you know, if you don't have enough money, bad noise, bad sound, or bad sound, a bad message rather, and then if you do have enough money, you get a bad sound, or a good sound, and a good message. Got that a little jumbled up there, but I think you guys get the point. And then over here, I'm going to demonstrate it one more time. So we're going to pay for the shulker with a thousand, coin, a thousand coins and now I got my shulker and as you can see because I had not enough coins the next time it actually played the negative noise so if I went in here and I tried to buy another one with not a thousand points it would pay it would play the negative sound and I would not receive a shulker well thank you guys very much for watching as always it's Arctic Shark Games over here on YouTube and Arctic Shark Games on Twitch